it is time for more humankind. And uh, as you can see, we pretty much own this continent right here. There's probably another large continent, maybe two medium-sized continents uh, that take up the rest of the world. We'll have to see. Um, but we own this all this orange area. And the two black areas, they are our vassals, the uh, the Celts. Um, so that's going well. Um, and they, let's say we just, for some reason, decided to let them go, which you can do. You can, like, grant them freedom. Um, they shouldn't be able to grow very well uh, to, like come after us in any way because they are their two cities are separated like this um so that's good um we've got this neutral guy right here and we are ready to assimilate them so this is going to become our third city here uh next turn we will have the influence we need to do that uh then the plan is so We'll be at our city cap then, and we're not making a bunch of influence. So we really need to work on influence generation. And then, if we get enough, we can go ahead and make Kerma its own city, and take one of take one like this territory right here and uh, remove it from Thebes and attach it to Kerma. Um, or we can wait until the city cap goes up, until the next city cap. Uh, upgrade whenever that is um so yeah i i was happy with how the war went of course i wish that i had well if i had been able to conquer them completely then we would have two more cities we'd be up four and we'd probably be losing influence um and so we probably have to uh ransack one of these cities uh which is not really i mean i guess if you have to you have to but it's not really preferred especially because these are both pretty far away from so like if this were to become a territory then i'd have to attach it to thebes probably um and that wouldn't be that i guess it could be attached to firma that wouldn't be terrible but um so yeah so this is going to become our city next turn that's the plan Just wanted to make sure I was hearing sound. All right. Can we see some stuff going on here? Boston Kaitos population fell. Okay, we got a era score star for building, which is our main thing. So the problem is we're going to need 10 more districts get to get our third star, which maybe we can do, especially now that we've got the new... Because uh, we did gain a territory. In addition to vassalizing those two cities, we gained a territory. I think. Pretty sure. Um, we can probably get the agrarian star up. Um, we won't be able to get expansionist, probably, because we can't, uh, put our land units on water yet, I don't think. Um, we probably won't get the militarist star unless we go to war again. So, more likely we're going to push for, well, we only need one more star to move on. And we are going to move on probably right away. Unless we're really close to, like, the Tech Star. Well, unless we're really close to one of them, we're probably just going to move on. Because we should be done with the Egyptians by that point. So, I do want to see ba Baten Kaitos here is a territory. So, I should probably work... Is that one of the ones that's not attached? Okay, so that's the problem. If it were attached to a city... Then I could build this stuff. You can build stuff with 
uh, with influence, as you can see. So I could build a harbor, which would give some food. Um, but really, I want to attach this over here. So that's what we're going to do. Now, the problem is we're not we're probably not going to have enough influence to attach both territories, 282. So we'll have 70 left over. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so we're going to assimilate. An independent people has been added to your empire. They may seem small, but great things can come from small beginnings. I got some free units. They're kind of low level, it looks like. Although I do have one chariot, which is cool. Well, they're they're not bad. They're not bad. So we're here. Okay, 30. And the other one is 30 also. Perfect. Attach. Oh, the next one. Okay, it goes up. All right, so that's fine. So now, uh, let's go ahead and get our... We should get our pyramid done first, I think. I think so. Let's get our pyramids done. Uh, then we'll get some farms. All right, soon we'll be able to do this, because we're getting more... So I probably... Well, they're my vassals, so they shouldn't care that my dudes are in there anymore. Uh, but we'll go ahead and get them out of there. And do we want to upgrade the warriors? We've got the gold, for sure. Warriors to swordsmen? Sure. And what do we have in here? A whole bunch of Barkabatas, right? Okay, cool. Um, so, the goal is to build these cities out. Um, we've focused too much on military, I think, recently. So, we gotta, we gotta build these guys out here. Uh, let's get another harbor done. And... We're okay on influence at the moment in Thebes, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, let's do another Maker's Quarters. Oh, nice. That's a nice one down there. Um, Alright, so we got that going on. What's Memphis working on? It's working on a Market Quarter, okay. And... Uh, We could do another Maker's Quarters right here, plus 24. Nice. And how about another one? Now, what are we getting it for? Like, okay, so all this, this is all, like all production right here. So that's why this one's so good. And it's next to a harbor, I guess? Or no, yeah, I think that's a harbor. Okay. So we, we definitely want uh, Kahuwachi uh, to, to get its pyramids done. And... Yeah, I kind of don't want to attach Saren. I want it to become its own city. So we'll see about that. Okay, so somebody was moving here. All right, good. Um, so what do I want to do with these guys now? I probably want to have them, like, watching the border. So... Oh, that is that all cliff there? Okay, so they can't come up that way. They can come this way. And let's go... Like here. With these guys, because... This river kind of goes all along the border, so almost wherever they... If they come in anywhere, these guys can move. So... Okay, so... I do want to look at culture. Converting to Egyptians, converting to Egyptians. 
So... Fifty percent hold. Is that because it's more populous? Oh, this is theirs. Nineteen percent. Yeah, so these should all convert. Um, so do I want to spend a little money? Like, to make one of these convert faster. That's what this is. You gain the ability to pay money to overwhelm a territory with your influence and gain some influence. Cultural Blitz becomes available once the affinity meter is filled. How quickly this meter fills depends on your influence out output each turn. So I assume there was a meter here that I didn't see. Activate Cultural Blitz. Although this is Builder still. Yeah, I'm still on Builder, right? Yeah, I'm still on Land Razor. Yeah, this is not... That's for a different Civ, I'm pretty sure. Okay, never mind. That would be nice, but I think we'll be fine in terms of... kind of pushing our culture south. So the question is, what do I want to do with all these units? Pretty cool. Um, I can upgrade these. Let's upgrade like one of each right now. And then we'll upgrade some more later. Oh, Markabatas. Nice. Okay. And... Let's put these guys like right along the border here like I was talking about. Put these guys, like, right here. So, I probably... I don't know if I have an easy way to... T oh, they're only at 982. Fame. So, I probably could go conquer them. That's not the best measure. You know? Um, there may be... a. I don't know, is there a better way to tell? You have my attention. I haven't really figured out. Um Careful Introvert. <laughs> Expansionist Protector. Plus four combat strength in combat for units in or adjacent to the district on garrison. Okay, so just don't fight near their garrison if you can avoid it. They create strong defenses on their borders. Well, probably they haven't yet. Um, we are at peace with them, and I want to say we have... Oh, we no, we don't have a non-aggression. We only have trading luxuries. And they have done a bunch of things to us. Stole my independent... They weren't even close, I don't think. Actually, they might have been. Um, so we are trading obsidian and gemstones with them, but if we conquer them, we will have those. So we have a ton of war support. Theirs is over 50. Um, and what do we have here? Another Markabata. So let's send them down here to meet up with these guys. And we have this horse uh, scout rider. Okay. I think we only use them to claim this territory. So they don't really have it. Well, they could group join this group over here. I would like to get the army size up. Where's the next tech? Oh, no. Oh, we're getting city cap soonish. Okay. So. How much does it take to turn this into a city? 1060. Okay, we'll be there in like 10 turns. And we'll have this research by then if we do philosophy next, which you probably should to get the research quarter. Um, although transport galley allows military transport. Can't 
can I make, um, I think the answer is no, but can I make ships? No. And I still need two, I still need a second copper. Hmm. They're, what, planting a forest? Clearing a forest. Turning a forest to dry grass. I don't know that that is the smartest thing to do. Probably only in very specific circumstances. Okay, so I think we have enough military, honestly. We can just keep going with our plan as is. So... Uh, where do I want to send these guys? Oh, and we have these guys. Oh boy. Okay, so these guys are coming in here. These guys are coming in here. Alright. And these guys are gonna wait and watch. The wisdom of others. Your merchants trek the world, re reaching great markets in far climes, and selling your high, highly prized natural res riches for much coin. Uh, conversely, your empire sees many traders from a distance, lands, visit our plazas with their goods, their wit, and their provocative ideas. So, let's see. Enact elder's wisdom. We must not forget the lessons of our own history. Foreign innovations. Be not too proud. Outsiders bring many truths to the world. Both things can be true. Uh, so we're choosing between plus one science per researchers on city or outpost, or plus one science per number of trade routes. Well, especially if we go to war with our southern neighbors, then we won't have very many trade routes. I think we do have some... No, we don't have relations with the other people at all. Because they don't have ships yet either. So... So that's a problem. So, I mean, we're not going to do anything with that right now anyway, because we need the influence for other stuff. But we can consider some of these civics for later. Uh, religion is going very well. We should have those four new followers pretty soon. We're basically going to convert the whole island. The whole continent. So... Now, what I didn't know... I guess it's when you enact a new tenet that you can change the name of your religion. So, I missed out on that. Okay. Let's go forward. The Maya just reached the classical era. We got... Okay, we got sailing. Okay, so we will be able... I wasn't paying attention to what we were currently researching. Okay, so we'll be able to get the little ships and start looking around. Um... Which one are the... Which one are the Maya? I wish you... Okay. Can I... Ugh. Well. Somebody just got to the classical era, and we're about to go to the next era. Uh... What era are they on? Pleased to make your classical. One star. Again. So hopefully we're ahead. So it's really just this blue nation that we haven't met yet. Okay. So do we go ahead and declare war at this point? It would be a surprise war, I think. Right? How do you do? No, we have enough to just flat out declare war. Let me, let me read about this. Um, if you absolutely must have war, so be it. You will incur a war support penalty and other empires will call you a traitor. Grants them 10 war support. 
Is that the main pro- Oh, and you get the trader badge. While having this badge, its owner gains some war support when destroying an enemy district based on the level of badge. So we're going to declare a normal war. And, I mean, the smartest thing would be to go over here, but we have the most units closer to this, I think. Although there are rivers that will take us right there. So, maybe we go ahead and upgrade these guys again to the next thing. Send these guys over here. Maybe we can wait one more turn. So we have more guys coming in here. Yeah, I think we take advantage of the fact that... I'm going to leave these guys here to kind of guard Seder. So I want to move them over here so we can get closer to the river. So then we can just hop on the river and move along. And these guys are going to stay... Oh, they may as well stay right on Seder, I think. Okay. Science! So do we want to do philosophy, which gives us the plus one city cap? Um, we probably do if we're going to go c conquer these two cities. Conquest. Night raids. Yeah, let's do philosophy. We got science, and we got the plus one city cap. What are these guys doing? Oh, yeah, I was going to have them join this city here. So, yes. Just go right there. Perfect. Ah. <laughs> Do you really want me to take you out right now? Because I can. We probably should do that with this group. So, sovereign, declare war. I see. Well, I am more than happy to unleash the horrors of war upon you. What? Oh, thief! While having this badge, this empire's ransacking armies earn more money. Am I meant to quake now? <laughs> you must be joking. <laughs> well, yes, you are, my friend. Uh, so I could ransack. Well, I'm going to put these guys on the river. Although I want them to get on the rivers that will lead them down here. Is that really the fastest way? Oh, because there's cliffs and stuff. Okay. Okay. So these, but these guys are going to move up and attack from here. <laughs> strike first, strike hard. Over this way. All together. I do not want the chariot to do that. Off we go. No fear. Yeah. 
these guys have already shot. So do I want to move these guys up here? I think we do. And take the final blow. <clears throat> Okay, perfect. So those guys are moving down. These guys have already moved, it looks like. So we're going to send oh, send them down this way. And these guys are going to meet up over here. Good. Uh, these guys are going to station. Religious minorities, we're not going to do that right now either. <clears throat> and our little civilian dude. Our villager that is half warrior. What are they called? Scouts. Scout keeps moving. Okay, so I do want to send someone to ransack this. And, well, we can keep sending this guy down this way and this guy to do the ransacking. Okay. Okay, we just saw some dudes. They're over there somewhere. Um, these guys, I guess. No, no, no. Ugh, fine. I don't know where they went. They were right there. And these guys are going to go ransack this. Why am I seeing the religion thing? Oh, they've made some religion progress. I don't know what they did. Change state. Oh, cannot be accessed because there are no other religions you may be converted to that you. Oh, okay. This is not rename your religion. It's actually change. Like if I wanted to be this religion, I could change it. Like, let's say they had better bonuses or something. Uh, I want you guys to ransack. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we're doing fine on our building stuff, right? Let's keep going. Okay, these guys can now... Uh, disband. And they will join... Now this is seven population. We have another civic we can do. With army wages. There's another lone guy there. Now, these guys, which they may be also, let's see. Tell me about yourself. Uh. What could you want? <laughs> so I think, yeah, the Celts also declared war on them, which means I kind of have to be careful that they don't take, well... They could do a little damage to Harappa, and then we could go take it once we're done over here. Their population shrunk, so they probably made some new units. Uh, so these guys are going to keep moving in here. But I kind of want these guys to stay together. Oh, they only have two dis two districts right now. So this should be fine. Ready for drop.
Okay, so we're probably not at risk of losing Seder, especially if we send these guys like down this way to take this dude out. So let's go this way. And we'll go here. Alright, my poor little scout guy needs to get replaced for sure. Alright, we got a farmer's quarters. Yep. Good, good, good. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. If they ransack a territory that I want then I'm not going to be happy. Okay, so we're going to bring these guys down here. And then attack with... Why is there, like... Hmm. Is it just because they have the fortific... They have a lot of fortification, actually. They have 30. Whereas my cities, I think, have 15. Yeah. So that's the big difference, I guess. All right, so should we, because they have all of that, maybe we should. No, no, no. I wanted to siege. Why can't I, why'd siege go away? <sighs> Fine. And why are they attacking first? attack yeah I'm not sure what I can do with them uh -huh. oh there's nobody really except for this guy to attack which he could do he's not taking that much damage But I think... Let's just move up here. Yeah, this guy, for some reason... Spearman versus Hoplite. Doesn't look very promising. Can I go in this way? No, that... He takes a lot of damage that way, too. Alright, I'm gonna hold him back for... little while. Uh, all these guys have... Well, this guy has not done anything yet. Okay. Charge! Alright, so... I did not set up my guys properly because I really wanted to siege. These hoplites are just taking out my markabatas. I expected them to do a lot of damage because they are spearmen, but not take them out completely. Oh, wow, 
that was terrible. Yeah, my my chariot here is basically dead. But he can do a lot of damage if he comes up here and attacks the swordman. So let's do that. These were sort of free units. Take these guys out. I want to avoid attacking on the river. I don't think we... Well, the only real way to do that is to make these... Well, now I can't defend for some reason. Uh, okay, so I can like... Run back here. All no, don't take him out completely. Ah. Okay, they're attacking from a river. That's the only. Pop oh man. Yeah, this is a problem. So... And almost all the high ground is on rivers. So, let's take... This guy out. Here. This guy... Should be... well... may need that other group. Oh, it just counts as a defeat? Huh? I'm confused. Alright, well, as soon as these guys are done ransacking, we're going back in. This other unit ran over here. So... These guys are going to head this way and head towards... I take these little guys out. Alright, hopefully sending in these four Makabratas is not going to kill us. But we probably should send them in with the other guys. I don't understand. Oh, I have two guys. Okay. Okay. All right, I have to defend my flag, so they have to come out, basically. Acknowledged. All right, let's try it. Let's see if they come out. I think they do, even though that's probably not the smartest thing for them to, to do. I have a problem because I'm on a river. But we're also attacking from from high ground. Okay, almost got him. All right, we did get a militar militarist star. Perfect. And we're probably... Let's just see. Okay, so we did not... Did we win? Win-win? Win the city? Uh, that's not clear to me. So we're going to send in these other units. What are these guys doing way over here? 
I don't understand. Okay. Uh, yes. So we can potentially enter the new era. Uh, we are still in the lead now by 600 points. Um, and everything should be available to us. So the question is, do we want to be greedy? Right? Do we want to... Ah, six more. Hmm. Six more. And... Yeah, it's not moving very quickly. We can get another pyramid done in two turns. We're getting a maker's quarters done in one up here. Hmm. I think we need to take advantage of the fact that we're ahead here. And choose our best option for a new sieve. So I really don't want Militarist, but plus two influence per adjacent district. Unlock sacrifice population action. <laughs> uh, that's weird. No, thank you. Uh, I don't think we want to go the money route, although um, my understanding is that this has been balanced somewhat. I don't know all the details. But it should be that going money is a more valid choice than it was before. Uh, maybe just flat influence. We've been focused on building. Oh, as soon as I as soon as I leave this, then I can't make the pyramids anymore. So I probably should go ahead and get this other pyramid done first. I can attach this now, and that would be one more pyramid. So do we want to risk it? Risk it for the pyramid biscuit, because we might lose, like what's the food one? The English. Plus seven food per number of attached territories on city or outpost. Increase the range by two for ranged units standing in it. So you get a stronghold, which hopefully we won't be defending from our from that other island. Another builder, plus three industry on maker's quarters. Plus one industry per population, plus five food. So counts as maker's quarter and farmer's quarters. Plus two industry per river. Plus one faith per district. Plus three influence. Plus three faith per adjacent district. We do have a lot of religion followers. Is there anything here that's per population? Because I was seeing on one of Quill's gameplay that he was just getting insane stuff from plus per population. I'm going to say there probably isn't. That may be later on. Plus five science per alliance on all cities. Well, we don't have any of those at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm leaning towards the Franks. Especially because we are lacking in influence at the moment. And it will count as a research quarter.
what do we need to make these guys? Two horses, two iron, which I believe we have, and we need to research chivalry. Okay. I think we risk it. You know, this is a not a super hard difficulty game. So let's just risk it. Saren dropped because it's still not a Executing city. your first ransack is not very friendly, but it's better to be the ransacker than the ransackee. That's very true. All right, so we did get philosophy. We got the plus one city cap now. So, and this was going to take us 1,060 to convert it into a city. But I probably... Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, okay. Should we grab... Oh, why are you... Oh, no. That was terrible. All right, these guys are going to have to come over here to support these guys. And these guys are going to not move. So the ransacking is done. We need to get these guys out of, like, no, like, out of here. So if possible, we can save them. New Civic about slaves. Uh... Problem is it costs 416. One bo bonus population per ransack on commons quarters plus one food plus one industry. I probably just won't enact that at all. Okay, next science. Uh what do we need? What was it that we needed? Um Let's assume we're going to get the Franks. We need chivalry. So how do we get towards chivalry? Oh, we got a lot of research to do in, just in this era. Oh boy, chivalry's like in the middle. Okay, we just got to focus on our research here, I think. Aqueduct will be nice for stability. We're okay on stability, I think, at the moment, though. Plus two industry on river, plus two food on river. Trade. Should I do trade expeditions next? I think so. We're still okay on food. Um, I'm going to save the research quarter for next era. Forest and woodland. I think a lumber yard would be good. But we we should try and push towards getting districts done. I think. Because we might be able to get this next, get that arrow star. Um, eh, five more. Probably won't get it. But we could certainly try. So I want to get these into, into our territory so we can heal them up. Heal! Oh, there's one dude going into our territory. I think we can't worry about him too much at the moment. One little dude. He could ransack a territory. Um, so maybe I should make another unit. But these guys are going to move and try and finish off Athenai here.
Yeah, we are getting people moving in. Ah. Alright, we are gonna have to make some... Make some soldiers. Alright, so I am going to go ahead and convert then, I think. Because we're not gonna get... Oh, we were gonna finish the pyramids. Uh... Well... Do we have any more to make? No, we don't. So, I think that's fine. Let's attach Stator. We're not going to make the pyramid, though. That's the one thing we're going to miss out on. We're going to make a garrison. Somewhere over here. Actually, what can we do for fortification? Palisades? Let's do palisades. Okay, these guys are going to have to make some units, unfortunately. Uh, once they finish their maker's quarters. Oh, I won't be able to make the Markabatas anymore. So, it's going to have to be swordsmen, I guess? Yeah, probably swordsmen. Until I get that other copper. Yeah. Are these guys going to do anything? Probably not. What do they have here? Three hoplites? Oh, jeez. This is going to be a challenge. Alright, so we could be going into another ill-advised war here. We, we just might be, but I think we have time to build up some military. So... We will see what happens in the next episode. I should be able to take Athens, FNI here, and then respond to these guys in addition to having the military that i am starting to create so that's my hope but yeah they're hoplites let's see they're 27 strength and they're anti-cavalry so that's going to be a real challenge but i'm hoping like if we crank out some swordsmen we'll be fine All right, so let's see where these guys go. They're kind of going towards Napata. So we might have to defend Napata. <laughs> Which would be funny. All right, so that's it for this episode. We will keep going with this war. And we'll be switching to a new civilization in the next episode. So thank you for watching.